Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. We're going to check a scary 2D retro Neo game called Breathing Fear. Now this game is kind of interesting. You can see on the bottom left I have a heart rate. It's at 20. If it gets to 70, I die. And then I have a battery charge. You can see it's 97 and it goes down. Now once in a while there'll be stuff that happens that gets my heart rate um, boosting up. Um, which is what the the gimmick of the game is about, kind of. It's about keeping your heart rate low and uh, exploring this house. So you'll see once in a while something will happen to where my heart rate will boost up because I get scared. Um, you can turn off your flashlight, but your heart rate gets up in the dark. But you want to kind of conserve your battery at the same time. There's like an element of strategy to it. Uh, it's basically just trying to see. Let's see, look, I watched the fish, so my heart rate went down. But it's basically just trying to see how long you can last inside of this house. Has oh, See, like that got my heart rate up. That thing saying dead. So it's a... Uh, there's stuff that's scary and not scary that happens. See, so I can drink some alcohol and it'll relieve my stress. The uh, electricity is out. So I guess the first goal is to try to figure out how to turn the electricity on. Um, forget to refill the empty canister. Left it behind the transformer. Okay, so I think eventually you could uh, turn on the power and start turning on candles and stuff. There's a secret doorway right there, by the way. Um, and I guess the fun in this game is trying to see exactly how long you can last. See, so I just took some batteries out of the radio. And now we have a diary. So there is a good, like, old school vibe um, to this game. Very creepy to an extent. And I think it really works because of of the aesthetic of, of it you know has this weird 8-bit vibe to it that uh i think gives it a little bit of personality honestly i, I kind of like it i think if it was realistic it just wouldn't have that same creepy vibe that this one does um games like this do kind of scare me a little bit so we're reading uh, a diary <laughs> and seeing what's going on. Things definitely do go bump in the night, though. And we're not just talking uh, Shady J's mom. Is this the same house that I was rooming I was just in? Yeah, so let's go back. It's easy to get mixed up on... Uh, exactly where the heck you went in this game just because it does kind of look oh see like that raised my heart rate up a little bit even though it was just a picture falling there we go so we're gonna head out to the back and let's see what we could find I'm not really good at puzzle games either, so a lot of what I've done with this game is basically kind of like hit or miss, um, explore, and uh, lots of uh, trial and error, I guess, that's what you would say, when, when it comes to uh, what you can do. Transformer, take the canister, fuel level at zero, okay, so... I gotta refill the transformer. Empty box. So it looks like this is the basement. I took the container that I need to use to uh, to fill up with some gas. So I think the gas is over here. I see now I have some limited time with gas in the house so let's go ahead and see if we can turn 
to turn on some lights. Make it a little bit brighter inside this place, right? Okay, oh, look, the toilet, the bathroom has a light. My heart rate is going up. What's going on here? Oh, see, I just died. I didn't realize I was that close to 70. So now the cops went ahead and found me. They're going to find my body dead inside of the abandoning house. I forgot. I, I accidentally turned off my flashlight. I assumed I would be okay because the, uh, the lights were back on. So let's go ahead. Let's try again, shall we? So we are going to actually go through the house. No more exploring because I kind of got to figure it out <laughs> kind of figured out what I got to do so we're going to go ahead and rush our little tutters we'll take the gas oh did I take it gasoline container nope I did not all right whoops wasting my time already let's go let's go grab What? I guess I gotta read all the stuff again to find out. Jesus Christ, let's start over. All right, so I guess I didn't find that yet because uh, I need to read the letter or whatever it was that explains that you have to find the uh, application for divorce between blah, blah blah so I found an application but we gotta go get that paper that says check between the behind the empty transformer because I guess I can't do anything without that that's interesting right watch the fish the key took the wardrobe key all right so now we're making some bacon, right? Now we're cooking with chicken grease. Okay, that was scary. All right. Matches. All right, there we go. There was the, the note that I needed. We grabbed some matches too. I wonder if I could, yeah, there we go. I could light up some candles with these matches. All right, so we're gonna go around to the outside. I wonder how long those candles last. Maybe they'll last quite a bit. Cause they do. It'll actually be pretty bomb diggity bomb if you ask me. I don't know. Just trying to be funny and hip and cool. I know fork knife. Alright, so we're going to go down. Let's go ahead and grab. So you must read the note in order to take the canister. And then you have to come back up here. What? It didn't let me take the, can the canister. Weird. I guess I gotta. Did I do something different this time around or what? Possibly. Let's go ahead and get back in here. Let's see if we can light some more candles. Ooh. That scared me. That scared my character, at least. Open the key. Oh. Take the batteries out. All right. So, uh, yeah, apparently you must read everything in order to uh, proceed correctly in this game.
Light up. Old photo. Come back in. All right. Let's see what's over here. Okay. Seems like I've lit a good amount of the candles. Got medicines. Shower. Is there buttons to how you use? I guess there's not. Trying to figure out how you uh how you change your batteries out, but don't look like I could figure that out. So we're going to go and rush outside. At least, right? See if maybe, just maybe there's a way that I can get the canister. I did so much better the first time around. I already forgot everything I did. I think I did it all. I think I just got to come over here now. Grab the oil. Why didn't it let me grab it? Wouldn't that be funny if it was something I already had done over here? I don't know. Is it just me or did I... Did I miss something? I think I missed something. Just great. Great. Just great. Great, great, great. Teddy bear. I got a stuff inside the teddy bear is there a teddy bear somewhere I didn't see a teddy bear did y'all see a teddy bear teddy bear had a picnic okay so it mentioned something about a teddy bear and some batteries so I'm thinking Gotta exchange the batteries. Where Teddy's at? I don't fucking see it. <laughs> I'm gonna die again. Watch. I am going to die. Honestly, though, I do think this game is pretty neat. It's neato. Um, definitely has a little retro style, um, survival horror feeling to it. And, and I could get behind that for sure. But now I'm going to die because I don't have any more battery. Oh wait, I just used it. Gosh, I'm so dumb. I just uh, figured out how to recharge the battery, so that works. thought I was going to die, but I, I saved myself last second. Let's go out here see what I'm missing, because something's not adding up here. Oh, now I'm able to take the gasoline container. Like, what was that? <laughs> like, wh why did it finally decide to let me take the gasoline? The world may never know. Refill... So we'll go back into the house. We'll start turning on lights. So it could be a little bit brighter. All 
All right. See, now we're starting to get somewhere, right? The radio ain't doing jack. All right, that's cool. Thanks, game. Teasing me with a radio. Let's get upstairs. Oh, the wine's over. Turn on the TV. Go ahead and get upstairs, and ooh, that cross turned upside down. I have no idea what the password is. Whoops! Like this cross got upside down. That's creepy. Okay, we're gonna go outside and see what we have in the backyard. That I could possibly work with. At least we got some houses on. I mean some lights on in the house. Some houses on in the house. Some lights on in the house. All right, so we're outside. It's the well. Fish and tackle. Trophy fish. Beer. Alright. We got some beer. Okay, now... Whoa, what was that? Is that like a bird or something? Old boat. Get on. Alright, so we're on an old boat. Holy cow. We're actually doing some stuff. We're on an old boat. That's interesting. Get off the boat. The banana boat. Sledgehammer on the shelf. A haystack. Old appliances, a bucket, a Mr. Bucket, your balls fall out of my mouth, a Mr. Bucket, ooh, some petrol oil, headstone, alright, I'm way out here now, ooh, tree, alright, so firewood was one of the things I saw that I needed, I did not see any firewood oh there we go <laughs> I literally walked right up to it so we're gonna go back to the old boat we're gonna go down the hatch put some firewood and matches and uh, see what we have going on because I think I'm running short on time with my battery and I do not want to die but I'm definitely digging the vibe of this game I think I'm doing a lot better than I was doing earlier, I'll tell you that much. So we're going to come down here. And we're going to... Alright. The gasoline looks like it's doing okay, but... Kindle. Now it's warmer indoors. Okay, so... Gasoline... Damn Alright. Um warmer inside. So now what are we doing? Wish there was a, a light in this empty this front hallway, but it doesn't look like there is. Medicine's on the shelf. So I think what I'm really missing is the password. Rosetta. Let's try Rosetta as the password. Just for shits and gigs, right? Nope. Oh my gosh. Games like this where you have to guess passwords and stuff. K 
Okay. There's no way. Way too cryptic, man. It's not too. It's not too difficult. It's just right. But holy moly, am I? Am I lost on what exactly do I need to do? Anyways, I won't bore y'all any longer. You guys already get the gist. I think this is actually a pretty neat little game. I'm going to have to keep playing and playing at it just to figure it out. I'm sure this is something you guys might like. Comment down below if you've played it before, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.